Precision kicks to keep it clean. Green Ninja, Green Ninja, needs to build a ninja team. Green Ninja, Green Ninja, bicycling recycling. Green Ninja, Green Ninja, never gonna stop until we do this thing. Green Ninja. On this episode of the Green Ninja Show, an empty can from Kansas City asks, I'm worried about the afterlife. What's in store for me once my job's done? Well, empty can, if the right decisions are made in this lifetime, you can rest assured there will be much more for you once your time comes. Check this out. Hi, my name is Ricardo Lopez and I'm with Green Waste Recovery. I'm the MRF Operations Manager. And rest assured that if you arrive at our facility, that we will take care of you and you'll have a long and prosperous life. When you arrive at our facility, you will go through our automated system. As the material goes down through the lines, you'll be extracted where you get magnetized and stored in an overhead bunker. Once we have sufficient material stored to make a bale with all your brothers and sisters, you'll be dumped down and placed inside of our baler. And you'll become a large bale, which is 1,500 to 2,200 pounds. Now, when we have sufficient material for a load, then we'll call the end user and they'll come and pick you up. As soon as you're out of here, you go to a mill, and at that mill, you're smelted down into rebar and or fencing and lower grade sheet metals. So rest assured, empty can, there's plenty of life left for you in the future. See, containers can find peace in the afterlife, but only if they follow the righteous path of the recycled. For more information about recycling, visit greenninja.org.